This is Domenico with Easynomics, and this is part three of calculating the angle curve. Uh, there were two previous practices. There'll be links to those in the video notes below. There was an introductory video that explained the angle curve as measuring the level of household spending as a result of a change in income, and we classified it into three parts where we see a negative relationship in YED, where YED is negative where uh, the two variables move in opposite direction. In this case, income is rising while quantity of consumption is decreasing. That would be an inferior good, and we already did a practice on that. Again, links below if you want to practice calculating that. In the second practice, we looked at a change in income, uh, rising and the positive increase in consumption, YED providing a positive value, but a value that is between zero and one. So it is in in uh, a necessity when yed is between zero and one we see it's a necessity but a normal good and in this practice we're going to calculate a, a, a value that would give us um, a yed that is greater than one so here we have the question that you might see on a paper three type of exam using information uh, in the figure figure three uh, calculate YED for an increase in income per year. So income is rising from 60,000 a year to 115,000 a year. And then we need to state the type of good. Is it an inferior good, a normal good? And if it's a normal, is it a necessity or a luxury? Figure three, household expenditure on dining at restaurants. We're measuring income on the y-axis and quantity of meals at a restaurant per year on the x-axis. Here we, again, we see that incomes are rising from 60,000 to 115,000 a year. And the consumption uh, per year at eating out at restaurants is increased from 12 to 48, all right, as a hypothetical example. So we wanna remember that in economics, Y equals income. And we're gonna calculate the YED value. So that's a formula, which you need to know. YED equals the percent change in quantity demanded over the percent change in income. And you need to know that percent change is a formula. We're measuring or we're calculating the change from the initial to the final value. So it's final value minus the initial value divided by the initial value times 100. So we're going from point A to point B. We see that we're getting a positive increase in income and we're getting a positive increase in consumption. So the YED value will be uh, greater than zero, be a positive value due to that direct relationship. So go ahead and pause the video now and calculate YED and then we'll check your work in just a moment. So pause now. All right, so let's check your work. So again, let's remember YED is equal to the percent change in the quantity of consumption as a result of a percent change in income. So let's first address the percent change in quantity. Percent change in quantity demanded. Final minus initial. So let's make a note on our exam that this is our initial value. This is our final value. This is our initial value. This is our final value. So for quantity, 48 is the final minus the initial of 12 divided by 12 times uh, 100. All right. So 48 minus 12 is 36 divided by 12. That's going to equal 3 multiplied by 100. And that equals a 300% increase in consumption. So here, the change in consumption is 300%. 300% increase in consumption. Now let's address the change in income. So we're going to now tackle this part of the equation. Percent change in income is going to be final minus initial, so 115,000 minus the initial 60,000 divided by 60,000 
and that's going to equal the difference here, 55,000 divided by 60,000, and that's going to equal 0 0.916 repeating, but we're going to have to take that and multiply it by 100. So 0 0.916 repeating multiplied by 100, and that equals 91.6 repeating percent. So income, or the percent change in income, is equal to 91.6 percent. So here it's increased by 91.6 repeating percent. So here we have the, the two pieces of the formula that we need. Here we have percent change in the quantity demanded, which is 300%. And then here we have the change in income. So we can calculate YED equals the percent change in quantity, which is 300, divided by the percent change in income, which is 91.6 repeating percent. And if we divide that, we'll get 3.27, if I remember correctly, repeating percent. So YED equals 3.27 repeating percent. So YED is greater than 1. YED is greater than 1, so that means it's a normal good that is a luxury. So what type of good is it? It's a normal good that is a luxury. So just keep in mind that this value here means that YED equals 3.27%. So that's over one. So every time incomes change by 1%. If incomes go up by 1%, demand for this luxury good will go up by 3.2%. All right, so if it rises by 1% in income, there's an increase in the quantity of consumption by 3.27% uh, repeating. And if incomes were to fall by 1%, there'd be a dramatic decrease in the consumption of this luxury good by 3.27%. Okay, so that is it. Uh, these are three types of practice questions that are all linked below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment those questions below. And don't forget to subscribe and to like. Thank you so much.